Welcome back friends, my name is Eric, this is Mo7 Gaming, and today we are here to talk about Library, L-B-R-Y Library. It is a new um, kind of content, sh content sharing platform, or more accurately, content sharing protocol. Um, it sees itself as kind of a non-censorship, libertarian, I guess, approach to video or content sharing. Um, it in my opinion, can't actually live up to 90% of those claims, but let's talk about what it is, and then we'll talk about what I think the actual strengths and negatives are of the platform. Um, if you don't want to watch the whole thing on how it works and that sort of stuff, there are links below for my content anyway on library, um, as well as my, um, oh, what's the word? Um, you know, where you tell something about it and you get credit for it. Whatever the heck that is. Anyway, I only get credit for 10 people, so um, don't worry about that too much. But anyway, that's where it is. Um, let me hopefully get this GIF started here. I got the GIF from them. Uh, are you ready to learn about library? Um, I don't know why this page needs to stay up quite so long. Um, I'm not quite sure how to click through a GIF. We can't. Okay. We'll just watch it download then and we'll go on to the next slide when it gets there. All right, how library works. Library protocol and library app. Library protocol is using blockchain technology. This means no one can edit or remove information which is published except the owner of the publication. Not even the developers at library can change it. And it's a blockchain. Um, no single company or person owns the library blockchain. Blockchain is owned by community miners. These miners are people who use their graphic cards to power the network. Every two to five, uh, about two and a half minutes, a miner gets credit. Uh, as of two years ago, that was 450 library credits. Uh, library app is owned and controlled by Library Inc. It publishes the links to and from the library blockchain protocol. Anyone experienced in programming can build an app or website which does the same thing. If illegal or copyrighted material is published on the protocol, it is reported to by the community or original owners. Library Inc.'s legal team will remove access to the files from the, from the app. That's the important bit there, from the app. Uh, library app allows you to publish your legally owned digital content on the blockchain protocol. And again, they give us a lot of time for just one sentence here. Somebody needs to think a little bit about this. Uh, allows you to set any price for the content using library's token credits, which you can publish for free. As of probably two years ago when they wrote this, one uh, LBC was equal to about 20 cents. So $25 would be 125 credits. Uh, allows you to bid LBC to claim a name, excuse me, for your channel, but also for the links to your videos. If someone bids more than you, you go down the search list. So you would be my video one in this case, unless you topped that. Um, your published files uh, will be uploaded directly from your computer to the viewers of your content, and your viewers will be hosts of the files from there on out, much like, um, well, we'll talk more about that in just a second here. Um, skip through this. Um, library app lets you discover, watch, and download content on the blockchain protocol. And excuse me, I'm watching the Yankees Red Sox game in London right now, and it's been kind of a barn burner so far. 6-6 six, six in the uh, bottom of the second, and Boston has people on. Um, we're still there. All right. Uh, library will let you be downloaded to the downloads folder. By having any library app online, you'll become a host of the file, and publishers may pay you library credits for this or not. Um, all of this makes library a free market of digital files, um, which results in more freedom of speech of the user than any other popular distributing uh, platform we have today. Kind of. Okay, so that's the gift. So um, the positives, once you put something in the blockchain protocol, it's there, right? It's there, it doesn't matter. Um, and in that sense, it's kind of immune to censorship. The negative is um, the app itself is what gives you access to that protocol. And that app is not immune to censorship. Hence, the if somebody makes a copyright claim, bam, the app blocks access to that, to that content. So it's not really... Um, so it's not any more immune to censorship for the vast majority of people than YouTube or anything else is. 
to get access back to that, you would have to use your own app, which would give you access to that, that, that portion of the protocol. So it is possible for a group of people to upload stuff using this app, but also have their own app that piggybacks off of the library protocol, the, the actual uh, blockchain, um, that they could do that, that you could download and you could make that file, um, you could make that application accessible through library app. As far as I know, you could make pretty much any type of file accessible and searchable through the app. It doesn't have to be a video, it could be pictures, it could be programs, um, it could be anything, which is also negative. You need to be careful what you open. And essentially it's gonna work a little bit like any other sort of file sharing um, type of thing. Um, and as such, as they said, initially your computer is gonna have to host the files until enough people have downloaded them that they're hosted across a group of people. Just like any, like I say, just like any other file sharing platform, that's gonna be what happens. Um, that's great, except that that means my computer has to be on all the time, unless I get huge and the odds of that happening are slim, uh, as slim on this platform as they are on any other, let's face it. Um, but also um, it means if you're somebody who also Twitch streams, um, you need to make sure to shut down the app before you go Twitch streaming because you don't want to all of a sudden lose your upload for all of the file sharing that's going on in the background. Or you need to be able to have pretty good control over how what percentage of things go up and go down. And that needs to be on your computer because there's no way that I have found to do that in the basic app. Now, there's an SDK command line type of um, control for this. Um, and there's a lot of basic controls that you don't have accessible in the basic app. Like for instance, I can't add tags when I upload files in the basic app, but you can do that in the, in the command line. However, when I looked up how to do it, it says, okay, go here. And there's a tutorial on how to do it. And I did that. And the first step was, well, you have to do this first. Here's a link to a tutorial on how to do that. And I went to that. And the first step of that was, well, you have to do this first. Here's a link on how to get that going. So while it's possible <laughs> to get everything running, as far as I can tell, you have to learn about six different things. You have to learn all the controls for those six different things before you can actually get into the control for the app itself. Um, and so for the vast majority of users, this is not a realistic option. Um, so while I'm sure more controls are going to get added to this, I can't imagine no tags being listed in the basic app is gonna stay. I just can't, that's gotta be fixed at some point. Um, but a lot of the controls that are built into the app, for instance, like what percentage of the, the, your computer's upload do you wanna make available? Stuff that's, that's basic, basic to any other file sharing protocol that I've ever seen um, is not basic to this one. Um, so while they've done some stuff right, they've completely skipped over huge chunks of what I consider just automatic stuff that should just flat out have been there on day one um, and is not in there two, three, four years later, however long they go. This, this GIF is two years old um, and this stuff is still not in there. Um, they just recently, as far as I can tell, added the option to actually link to a, um, uh, what's the word, to, to, the, to the thumbnail. Um, before you had to use a different protocol, speech, S-P-E dot C-H, you had to go there, they have their own thing, and that's where like a lot of your stuff is gonna live um, short term. And, and it may be since that GIF has passed um, that speech is handling file sharing, um, duties for this and such that you don't have to. So for instance, when I uploaded videos, it asked me to upload, uh, give me a, to either upload a file or, or give a link. And the first time I had to upload my thumbnail at, and then it gave it a speech um, location. And from there I can just give it the HTML link on speech. So it may be now most of your files are, are sort of being hosted on speech. I'm not 100% sure on that. So positives and negatives. But if your stuff is being hosted on speech, speech can obviously go in and delete your content as well. So one more option for censorship there, um, at which point stuff would have to be hosted on your computer. So a little bit of fuzziness on what they've actually posted as far as stuff that's up there versus 
how it runs now. They haven't kept up to date with that sort of stuff. There's a community link you can click on um, that essentially, as far as I can tell, just opens a chat program that you can ask questions. There is no forum. Um, there's no dedicated um, fact that asks any legitimate questions or gives you any real ev answers to anything. Um, documentation is um, exceedingly poor for something they've been working on for multiple years. And the fact that there's no forum means there's no real easy way to search community answers as well. Um, so those are all negatives. Um, this is not a panacea. This is not going to solve all our problems with YouTube at any stretch of the imagination. This is an extremely, extremely sketchy shot that maybe will get the work it needs to get to where it's at. But at this point, it is very clearly in beta and um, not moving quickly, <laughs> as far as I can tell. Um, but for now, for now, we're going to give it a try, as there are very few actual legitimate options up there. Uh, and this is one. So. Um, I've got my stuff up there. I've told it to go ahead and sync my entire back catalog off of YouTube. It said it's going to take a couple hours to a couple days. That was three days ago. Um, I've yet to see anything. I did finally just upload some videos manually myself um, so that there's a little bit there. I have my Pathfinder videos up there now because those seem to be the ones people are watching right now. Um, but overall, yeah, no, it's it's not happening fast. So Anyway, check it out. It is there. Uh, if you are interested in that, if you are somebody with strong political leanings left or right, um, you may be more likely to find content on library than you are on YouTube right now. Uh, more so on the right than the left. However, I have seen some of the more kind of farther from center left channels also making the switch to library in an attempt to avoid that. Although Google tends to let you say whatever you want on the left um, and anybody even barely past the moderate line on the right gets gets crushed pretty easily. Um, if you are somebody who believes in what we will call radical, but I would call stupid um, theories such as um, Flat Earth, um, they're also on there because YouTube's been trying to crush down on kind of fake news type of stuff. And um, so anti-vaxxers and flat earthers and other people who have chosen to close their eyes and scream, I can't hear you, I can't hear you, I can't hear you over and over again, can squint them at the library screen and uh, get content aimed at them. I'm not a fan of those things, but um, that's the type of stuff you get when you you you, you push a big no censorship type of thing. Um, we'll see how long that content survives up there before before somebody steps on them as well. Um, just because you're incapable of critical thought doesn't mean you shouldn't have freedom of speech. Um, however, if you are incapable of critical thought, maybe you should just shut the hell up. That's my own personal opinion on that. Um, but regardless, it's there. Uh, Yankees managed to get out of the issue. Um, still 6-6. Top of the third. Yankees at the bat in London. So I'm going to go back to the game. Uh, links below for library, uh, my channel specifically, as well as for whatever my um, link to whatever that I still can't remember. The um, and yeah, uh, check it out. Um, you do have to download an app. Um, that is a negative. Um, you do have to download an app. Um, to get to this, it's not very searchable. Um, and I guess that's it. If you subscribe, it'll automatically download new content to your computer. So if you have a poor internet connection, this might be a bonus because you can actually download the files. You don't have to stream them. Unlike YouTube, where you have to pay premium before you can download stuff, um, you'll be able, it'll automatically download it. But that also means that from there on out, you are hosting the files to the people you subscribe on, which means as the rest of the world wants to download them, look at them. Um, like any other file sharing service, it may be hitting your computer, which means you may be paying for the upload. So that poor internet bonus, what they give, they take away, right? So anyway, check it out. It is interesting, if nothing else, from a technology standpoint. It is kind of a, again, it's it's more of a, a blockchain, cryptocurrency type of distributed management type of version of a database. So um, from a technological standpoint, it's extremely interesting. Um, from a practical aspect, it's it's interesting enough that I uploaded videos, um, but it's not to the point where I would recommend it necessarily as um, definitely not as your primary source. Definitely leave it as a secondary source um, and understand the, the negatives as far as bandwidth and upload and download and that sort of stuff. All right. We'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Cheers. Uh, somewhere in here, I had a closing, but um, I have a new closing but I haven't opened it yet. Um, let's see if we can do this live. We're doing it live, guys. Um, this maybe is a mistake. Let's go. Um, 
Let's add this play capture. This is gonna be weird. Um, let's go existing play. How am I gonna do this? I'm gonna Brett Gardner hit a home run. Yankees are up seven six. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my TV to be my other computer monitor. Then and my computer's decided it doesn't want that to be a source. All right, all right, we're doing it this way. Let's go, we'll just, just do display capture. Should be this one. Uh, okay. All right, so now you should see a weird mess. I'm gonna drag it down at least behind me. We'll make me small. No, we won't, that's something else. See if we can grab me. There we go. There we go. Stick me over here somewhere. We'll minimize this. Um, I've got to turn on the other monitor and that will make life a lot easier. Um, my display is not shown. Rigorous detection, find my TV. Yes, it's already re-enabled. Okay. Now I should be able to drag this to the other monitor and you're just seeing that. Um, is that how I want to do that? I don't know. Hmm, the negative about doing it this way, first of all, my display capture. That biggie. I think we kind of have to leave this over here. Otherwise, you don't get to see what we're doing. All right, let's see if I can find it. Let's go, um, let's add, this is an OBS tutorial for free. We're gonna add a um, media source. And we're gonna go ahead and we're looking for another one. Um, we have the blank jello, which is a closing, but I think I've created a new one. So we're gonna call this Bomber Baron Closing. Bomber Baron's the emblem, the, the icon I use. It was a unit my grandfather was in in World War II. Um, and the Mellow 7 name comes from one of the call signs um, while he was in, I wanna say SAC, Strategic Air Command, but um, much later than the Bomber Baron. But anyway, that's, that's where that comes from. Um, and we're gonna do a little digging and Shorty all of a sudden feels he needs to be right there. And I wanna say, did I put it under video? Did I do the close under there? Did I leave it here? Um, Bomber Baron closing, there we go. Okay, and there we go. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you next time. Cheers.